friends, it's Peggy Noe from PrettyPaperCards.com. I'm here today with my little Yorkshire Terrier, Ellie, and we are here to do a stamping tutorial, a card tutorial for you. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and so we're going to be using Stampin' Up! products today. And it's Wednesday, January 19th, 2022. How are you all doing today? I hope you're having a nice week. We're having a great week. We're relaxed. We've been getting a lot done um, here at my little pretty paper cards. We've been busy here in the craft room, Ellie and I. And she <clears throat> she sits and watches, and I do the work. <clears throat> but she's my little pal, and so that's sweet. We en we enjoy doing that together. I tell her, <clears throat> sorry, I tell her, let's go make cards when we're in the rest of the house, and she'll follow me right in here. She knows what that means. That means we're coming into the craft room to make cards. And so that's that's the term. Let's go make cards. Okay, I'm going to just check my uh, Facebook here and make sure that we're live. And see if anybody's on yet. Hi, friends. Good to see you. Thanks for stopping on. Let me know if you're here. So what's going on? Um... Tomorrow is the last day to register for my um, Daffodil Daydreams mini retreat. It's going to be held on January 29th here in um, San Diego. But if you can't come locally, uh, my friend Robin Dawes and I are doing it, and we will send it uh, to you to go. And there's a link, if you're watching Facebook, there's a link right above the video. And if you're watching YouTube, there's a link on my blog. But the last day to register is tomorrow, January 20th, 2022, because it's on the 29th and we have to have enough time to, you know, order everything and get it prepared for all of our retreat people. Hi, Susan. Good to see you. Hello from Florida. Oh, I bet Florida has nice weather. We're in, this, in the low 70s today, maybe high 60s. I haven't checked, but we're... It's nice here, and we're enjoying it. It was cloudy this morning, but then the sun came out. And uh, the other announcement I have is about my pretty adhesive packs. I've sold all the ones I had ready. They've been going uh, great, but I have more stuff coming tomorrow, so I'll have more ready to go. They're $38, five of my favorite ad adhesives in a cute hot pink um, kind of... Uh, embellished little plastic bag with even a handmade pom-pom on each one and some ribbons so um, there's a link up there for those if you're interested in those and um, I've I really enjoy making fun things for you and that's what that is it's a really fun a fun little adhesive pack so um, our prize we're gonna award at the end of the of our time together so hang tight and we'll award our prize and uh, tell, I'll tell you the new prize. But I have a lot to, oh, back to the prize. Be sure to remind me in case I forget, okay? Be sure to remind me. Now, I'm gonna put Ellie down because I have a lot to show you today. We are gonna make a square card, and I wanna do for you a square card tutorial. I'm just gonna move you around a little bit there. Okay, so um, the first thing I want to show you that we're going to use today is one of my new favorite products. And let me just get you down here. And it is the Abstract Beauty Designer Series Paper. And I really, I hadn't even seen it until I did my paper shares the other day. Linda Brady, good to see you. Um, and when I was working on my paper shares, I discovered this beautiful paper I hadn't purchased it before and I am crazy about it and that's why I really want to show it to you today thank you Linda for sharing it is a, a new size four by six four inches by six inches and it's called abstract beauty it's on page uh, 49 of the catalog and you I want to just show you a little tip that if you want to know what colors are in the designer, any designer series paper, you just look below and they have these great little rectangles for you with the colors and the names that are in each designer series paper. So that helps you to know what colors to use 
when you're working with this paper. I find that invaluable. And we're gonna kind of practice that today. Oh, thank you, Linda, very sweet. So what I wanted to do is go through each one of these and see if you can figure out why I love them so much. They're a bit modern. Some of them are a bit modern. Hi, Diane from Cave Creek, Arizona. Good to see you. <clears throat> so I'm going to go uh, kind of sheet by sheet. You get four of each sheet. And what I'm going to show you is the front and the back. So I've got it turned so that I can show you the front and the back because they're so beautiful. And I made a card with this pattern yesterday, the front and the back of that, and I'll show you that in a little bit. This is the pattern we're gonna to use today. And here's the back of that one. And see how beautifully they go together? Um, and I'm just gonna flip through here and see if you can figure out why I like this paper pack so much. I don't think it's gonna be hard to figure out because it has my favorite color pink there is a lot of pink in this paper pack but there's also a lot of gold and one side of every sheet is has gold on it and the other side does not so you can notice that and here's the gold side again on this one there is some black in there we're going to use a little black today and the backs here's the back side of that one it looks like a splatter this is another one of my favorites more so the back this is the back of this one and I think it's so beautiful and let me show you how wonderfully it goes with this other side isn't that pretty I'm telling you I just think these are fabulous <clears throat> so I'm showing you the fronts and the backs here's the front of this one see the little gold dots this is very pretty hi Marcia good to see you and here's the back, a beautiful pink. Here's another uh, abstract. That's why it's called Abstract Beauty, I'm sure. A beautiful balmy blue. And then look at this one. Isn't that pretty? Um, and the back side of that and these two. Aren't those beautiful papers? Kim, good to see you, Kim. Now here's, that's why I wanted to show them to you because they're so pretty. Okay, beautiful, beautiful four by six size. Now, we're not going to make this one today, but this is one I made yesterday. I'll be posting it on the blog um, in the next week or so. And I use that one. This is the back to this piece. And aren't they beautiful? And then here I use some gold. This is the brushed. We're going to use a little bit of this today. Brushed metallic gold um, paper that's currently available. It is pretty, Susan. Beautiful. Yes. And um, it goes with um, soft succulent. That's the color, yes. And this new pretty ribbon goes with it. And I have cut the ribbon and then it frayed a lot. And I kind of like that. So that was a sample card, one that I made with those colors and that paper. And here's the card for today. It's a little modern for my normal. A little, thanks Linda. A little bit modern but I thought it also teaches how to make a square card and I'm going to give you all the measurements and I think you'll be you'll be happy that you um, tuned in today so that you know exactly how to make a square card and a couple of little hints along the way for um, how to decorate a square card so let's get started I'm going to put that off to the side now to begin a square card I'm going to pull out my paper trimmer and here is a standard eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. And we want the eight and a half width uh, length here, but we only want, want it four and a quarter over here. So I just use this edge and I'm gonna cut it at four and a quarter. So it's gonna be eight and a half by four and a quarter. And then we have, this is our card. And all we need to do is fold it in half, but what I'm gonna do, of course, is score the eight and a half side at four and a quarter. And that's how you make, now you can make a much larger square card, but that's how you make this size. And I know you're thinking, well, how do I mail it? Gold and black, very pretty, right, Linda? So how do you mail this card? Let's fold it over and, um, burnish the burnish it so that we can see the exact size so it's it ends up 
to be four and a quarter by four and a quarter. That's your finished size, like this, okay? And here is an envelope. Now, I found these on Amazon. No problem. I And I was going to check the, the measurement here. So these are four and a half by four and a half. And they're real pretty. I think they're really nice. The card fits really nicely inside. Look at that. Just kind of a perfect fit. So don't worry about making square cards. Hi, Diane. Good to see you. From Arizona, a cave creek. Um, so it fits in really nice. I put two stamps on my square cards. I am not 100% sure, but I want to make sure they get to someone when I send it. And they are an odd size for the post office, so I put two stamps on there. But that's your little tip about mailing a square card. But it's a different shape. I really like it. It's nice to have something a little bit different because we're usually making the A2 size. So now let's start to decorate it. And we're going to use these pieces, which I mentioned to you, I'm using the back and the front, so I need two. Now when you get your pack of Abstract Beauty paper, you get four of each sheet. So I, I used, so it really takes the front and the back to make this particular card. So let's go ahead and cut. We're going to use this piece for the back, and we're going to, not back, back round on the front of the card. And we're going to cut it four by four. There's four. And this is already four. So it's because it's a six by four card, or rather piece of paper. And then this pretty one we're going to cut down to three and three quarters by three and three quarters. And it'll fit right kind of inside the other one. But I'm going to do some angling today because it is a modern it's a bit of a modern card. So let's see how we're going to do this. So here's our square card. And what I'm going to do today is I'm just going to angle this. And by doing so, I'm trying to get every corner as far out as I can. You know, touching, pretty much touching the edge. Oh, it's snowing there? Oh my gosh, how wonderful! I know it's not fun when you have to clean it up, but for us in California, Southern California, it sounds like a winter wonderland, Marsha. How wonderful. I hope you're nice and warm and toasty. Okay, so I'm going to angle it pretty much as far as I can. And there's the first piece. And I'm just gluing each, each piece down. I'm not going to do <laughs> an angry emoji. So then this piece is a quarter of an inch less than the previous one, and it's going to angle in like that. And we're going to glue this. One little caution with these papers that have gold on them, the gold tends to show the glue a little bit. And so I try to put less glue than I might otherwise put. So I'm just going to angle that at a different angle right there. Aren't those just gorgeous? I mean, I just think these... These papers are so beautiful and they look great. The back side goes with the front side. So Stampin' Up! has really done all the work for us. Okay, now we're going to decorate this base. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to start um, die, doing some die cutting. And I decided, here's our sample, I'll pull this back again. I decided to make it kind of an upscale modern um, Valentine, but you can you can use it for anything. It says I like you, so you can send it to a friend for just a hello uh, kind of a thing. So that's what we're going to do today. And the the die set I'm going to use, I'm going to use a couple, but one is going to be the Sweethearts dies. This is in the beginning of your new uh, spring mini catalog. And so let's get up our. I've got several things here. I don't want them to fall. We're going to get up our mini stamp and cut and emboss machine, and we are going to cut um, a blushing bride heart. Now, I've got another one already cut out because I didn't want to take too much time because we're kind of concentrating on the square part. And so we're just going to cut 
one of the Blushing Bride hearts. I'm using two on this card. And I'm using uh, the bigger heart in the die set. Okay, and there's our little heart. And now, one thing I didn't do on the other one and I wanna try is we're going to emboss this little heart with the checks and dots. There are uh, embossing folder. It's a small embossing folder that's made specifically for the mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. And I just thought it would be fun to run this through and we'll just give a little bit of texture to our, to our little heart. And I've already done this with the second heart. I just wanted to show you how to do it. And it, all, it really doesn't matter where you put it in there. You use your base plate and then plate number three and all the instructions are here for you. Um, on the plates that come with the stamp and cut and emboss machines. That's one thing I really like about it. You don't have to wonder what your sandwich is. Okay, now let's see how that turned out. I just think it gives a little bit of texture. Isn't that cute? Can you see that? Isn't that cute, That the little dots? And I've already done another one for us, right there. And I've also cut out a black one in advance just to save time. So those are the three hearts we're gonna use. Now we're gonna go back to some die cutting again. And we're also gonna cut um, some, some heart. Let me see, what, what will I call these? Let me see, what do you, rows of hearts, I guess. We're gonna use this die also from the um, Sweethearts dies. And we're gonna cut a row of th two actual rows of three hearts each. So we'll start with the first one on this brush metallic. Because we're doing, we wanna add, pull out a little bit of the gold. Hi Allison, good to see you, you finally made it, good. Um, we're pulling out a little bit of the gold in the paper that we're using. So here's our little uh, strip of hearts, a little row of hearts, and the wonderful byproduct is you get three cute little die cut mini hearts that you can use, and I use those, I forgot to show you, actually on the inside of my card. So now we're gonna do another row. I could have cut that paper in half, but I forgot. So we're gonna do another row of these. And you know, I think I will do that to save because we need to really save this gold paper. It's, I don't like to waste it, but once you run it through the embossing machine, if it's blank, it takes on some of the lines from the plates. And so that's why I wanted to, I'm glad I cut it. I rem remember this time. Karen, I haven't seen you for a while. And Holly, good to see you today. Okay, so here we have another row of our hearts cut out, and it's the row plus the little minis, the little babies that pop out. So you you can save these. We're gonna use a few on our cards today, but you can, I'm holding it too far over, aren't I? You can actually, you could make a bunch of these and put them in a shaker card or something, for sure. Okay, now that's enough die cutting for the moment. We'll do a bit more later. And now what we need to do is uh, we need to um, heat emboss our sentiment. And here's the sentiment I'm using. I thought it would be nice to say, I like you. It's just a, kind of a generic, easygoing sentiment. And I am using the sentiment from the flowing flowers. I'm not using a bundle or a sweet or anything today. I'm pulling in all kinds of pretty things that I like mostly focusing on that abstract beauty designer series paper. And I love the fonts in, I love this whole set, Flowing Flowers. The flowers are beautiful, everything is beautiful. Marsha, it won't be above 30 for the rest of January. Oh my goodness gracious. Um, so I'm using the little sentiment that says, I like you from this set. And what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and heat emboss it on a piece of black. And I've got my stamp and I've got my Versamark ink. So I'm going to go ahead and 
get the Versamark on the stamp. And I'm just gonna put it right in the middle because we're gonna die cut this with a tag die. And the way I keep my embossing powders, I keep them in these little Glad brand, or this is a Ziploc, I guess, little plastic containers. And then all I have to do is just dip this in here. If it's small, this works out really well. I just dip it in there and get the embossing powder on it. And now I have a little, I have a little um, paintbrush that I can use to just pull off that extra there. Let's see. Kind of get those extra little bits out of there. And now, just for a moment, it's going to be kind of noisy while I use my heat gun. I'll pull it off to the side, okay? And don't you love the way it, the way it's like a chemical reaction? It's like a magic trick that we have in stamping. Oh, good, Marcia, you have lots of coats and fur boots. Excellent. So this is almost done. The, the powder just melts. I love when I show a new stamper how to do this. It's, they get so excited. Okay. Thanks for your indulgence on that sound. Okay, so there is our heat embossed sentiment. And now we're going to bring back in our little stamp and cut and emboss machine. And I have one of the tailor-made tag dies that just fits over this sentiment perfectly. And I think it works with my, um, with my little design on my card. Let's see, I think I might like it to come a little more toward the end. I think that should work. So let's see if it comes out. Uh-oh, I see it's going crooked. I, do, I don't like it when it turns. I know some of you use uh, washi tape. I don't really, I usually can just get it where I press right down and it just stays right where I want it to be. So hopefully it'll come out correctly. Push it in. It may not go through because I had that one plate back quite a ways. Okay, we're going to need to try it again. I did have that plate pulled very far back, didn't I? Okay, let's try it again. Sometimes you just need to be patient. And it really calms you down, actually, unless you're in a hurry to make a card. But actually, stamping makes me calm. I hope it does you, too. It's something I like to use to calm down, to relax, to be creative. Okay, here we go. And that's the last time we'll need to use our emboss machine. And here's our little tag. I like you. Very cute. We'll set these off to the side. Now we're ready to put our card together. So let's bring it in here. Pam, good to see you. So here's our card base. If you're just joining like Pam, um, we're making a square card and we're using this beautiful abstract beauty car, um, car, uh, designer series paper and it's kind of a modern card. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna arrange everything we have. We've got hearts, a black heart, we've got two blushing bride hearts that have been embossed, we've got a sentiment, and we've got little, little baby hearts. So we can just play to our heart's content. Ha, huh, our heart's content. <laughs> Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue down the first heart. I want to cover this white area. So I'm just going to glue the first one. The others I'm going to use dimensionals. So let's just get a little glue on there. I think my little glue got dry while I was not using it. Okay, there we go. So the first one I'm going to put rather straight right there not twisted to one side or the other. And this, the black one, I'm gonna come off to this side and I'm gonna use some Stampin' Dimensionals now to lift that up. 
check over with you guys and see what's going on. Thanks for sharing, Pam. So let's get that little black guy. I think the pink and pink and black is a really beautiful combination. It really is. So we'll go off to the left with that. And now I'm going to come in and put this little strip right in here. It's just a little something something. I think I'll just put it right like that. And let me just play. Sometimes I like to play to see how it's going to turn out. Okay, that's going to be good. So I'm just going to put just tiny dots of glue, just really tiny. And you know that if you just leave this for a few minutes and let it let it set up just a little bit, then you'll you won't have as much smearing. You know, if it moves a little bit when it's set up just a tiny bit. And so we're just going to, I'm going to keep lifting it upward as I tuck it under there so I can move it where I want. And there we go. That's how I want it to be. And it's just, it's adhered to the Blushing Bride Heart. And it kind of sticks up on the left end, which is good. Now the sentiment, I'm wanting to come in kind of like that. So I'm going to go ahead and put the sentiment on with a couple of dimensionals and tuck it up under there. Whoops, what's happening? There we go. And another one. And I'm actually gonna cover the little hole for a ribbon. I'm not gonna let that bother me. I'm just gonna tuck that up in there. Okay, and there's our sentiment. And now we're ready for our next um, embossed heart, and we're gonna uh, put a dimensional on that. But I also want to see how I want to use these hearts here. Kind of debating. You know, you just have to play and see how you want them to be. I think that might be good. Okay, let's get our dimensional. And we're going to put it way down here on the bottom. Hi, Jessica. Thanks so much. Happy hump day, that is right. Okay, now we can adhere these little, this little strip of hearts. And again, just a very slim, very thin um, strip of, of the glue and letting it set up just a minute. And then we're gonna put it right there. I want it to adhere to the black heart and then we have this one ready to come in. And because the dimensional is down here, I can just overlap like that. Pretty good, huh? That is, that is kind of it. That's the basis of it. Now, I, the last card, the other card, my sample card, I put a little heart right up here because we have all these little gold hearts and they're just so cute. So let's use a tiny mini dimensional to put on the back of one of these little hearts. And again, save them because they're gonna come in handy. And I am gonna put a few on the inside of the card here. So I think I might use my scissors. I like to use them as tweezers just to barely hold that. And we're gonna put this heart right up here like that. And then I have some uh, polished dots. Now these are kind of new. Thank you, Holly. Uh, you love the color combo, Susan. I do too. That's why I love this abstract beauty paper, the four by six. Now, these polished dots are new in the spring catalog, and I don't know if you can totally tell. Let me hold them over, let's say the envelope here. And can you see how these are, I didn't look back to see if they're blushing bright or not. They could be a pale papaya, but they look gorgeous with this. They look like Blushing Bride to me. So I'm going to put some of these little polished dots on here just because I think they also go with our, um, they go with the embossed dots on our Blushing Bride hearts. I think it carries that theme of dots as opposed to the abstract lines. And let's see, we'll put one down here. You usually put one to put three. And we'll put one out there. 
And there's the front of our card. Now let's do a little something with the inside. And on my other one, I took three of these little hearts and glued them down. And what I'm gonna do is just put a couple of dots of glue right here, just tiny dots. And then we're going to go ahead and put our hearts right on top of those. And I think that'll be, it won't, I don't wanna put dimensionals because it would change the, um, the card might raise up too much for shipping, which I like to be careful of. Mailing, I guess I should say. And then we'll pick up another one of these. And just kind of put them just arbitrarily. I gotta get my scissors back, because these are so tiny. So we'll just put that heart just like that. And I think this looks kind of cute on the inside of a card. It would surprise the person who receives it, I think. There we go. And they just um, adhere right to that, to the inside. Isn't that kind of cute? And then we'll pull out our square envelope. And remember, I told you that you can get this at um, through Amazon. It's four and a half by four and a half. Thank you, Linda. Yeah, it's a really, I think it's just a really cute little card, a nice shape, a fun shape. And using this gorgeous abstract beauty paper. If you haven't gotten it, I really encourage you to get get it. If you are if you signed up for my, yes, they really do, Marcia, make the inside of the, of the card cute. Um, if you've signed up for my paper shares, they're in the mail and they're on the way to you and you will have a quarter of a pack of this. So you'll have one of each of the papers. I've, I'm already on my second pack, seriously, because I just love it. I just, I'm just using it like gangbusters because I like it so much. Okay, let's award our prize. So the prize from last week was a package of the beautiful garden gems that are now discontinued. They were um, like just a short term kind of product and they went with the Eden's Garden um, suite, but they did not continue and so um, I used the random number generator and we had people from both YouTube and Facebook who entered and the random number generator pulled from YouTube Carolyn Hahn link. Now Carolyn, I need you to contact me and send me your address so that I know where to send this. And for my YouTube people, um, I need you to respond, well everyone, but most of my Facebook people Yes, extra postage, that's right. Extra postage for the square card. My YouTube people need to know that once um, something aired, like today, you have two weeks now to redeem this, Carolyn, and get me your address, and if not, I put it back in my stash, and I have a pretty fun stash, so maybe some of the gals might want it to go back in the stash, so Carolyn, make sure that you email me at peggy at prettypapercards.com and let me know where I should send these beautiful gems. Now, the prize for today, I'm just going to switch you up because I'm kind of, I, I want to just come back up with you, okay. The prize for today is a really good prize. And I'll be drawing, today is the um, 19th of January, and I'll be drawing for this prize on the 19th of January. So if you're on YouTube and you want to enter, you put the word prize, same with the people on Facebook, and um, you have to check back the next week for my video from that'll be the 26th to see if you win. And here's the prize. It is a brand new full pack of the New Horizons 6x6 designer series paper. And it's $11.50 value. I don't usually, I usually don't give current product of this value, but I had it after doing my paper shares and I just feel like all of our papers this year are so pretty. So put the word prize down below if if you're on Facebook in a comment and on YouTube in a comment, I will draw the prize on my Facebook Live on January 26, Wednesday. And if you're on YouTube, make sure you check back because I have no other way of letting you know that you won. I will, I will try to make a comment on your comment, but um, the best thing to do is check back. So the brand new full pack of the New Horizons Designer Series paper. You're gonna love it.
Okay, everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. I love having you here, and um, it just warms my heart to see all my friends and all your um, sweet little comments. Thank you so much, and have a nice rest of your week. I'll be back here on Friday the uh, 21st at 4 o'clock Pacific Time, and we'll have another card tutorial. So have a great rest of your week, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.